tricky here. As you guys know, I like to do a lot of different things for Halloween. Actually, it's my favorite holiday. Uh, so every year, I build a haunted house in my front yard using, well, I guess, wood, hardboard, and black plastic. So this is just uh, one of a series of instructional videos I'll do on how to decorate a haunted house or on how to decorate just for Halloween in general. Uh, okay, so my first tip for you guys is props. Now you can get props anywhere from your local Halloween store. They usually open up around uh, the first or second week of October. Now my one problem with that is that the things that they have there are nice, but they usually cost a lot of money. So you'll be getting replicas of antique things and they'll cost you like $35 minimum. So what I like to do is make a lot of my own stuff. Another place that you can find a lot of good materials for your haunted house is local tag sales. People have a lot of things and they're going to sell them cheap because they want to get rid of them. So today I went to a tag sale. Here's what I got. Okay, the first thing is these pictures. Now the frames are in really good shape. These actually cost me a dollar for both of them. What I'm actually going to do is break up the glass a little bit and I'll show you how to do that really easily without getting hurt hopefully. Something like this is what we'll be aiming for. Now the other things that I got, which were 25 cents each, were these oil and vinegar containers. I don't know, they looked nice, so I got them. Uh, and these candle holders with the candlesticks. And finally, one of the best pieces of uh, you know small furniture that I got is this little cabinet. And it actually opens. So... Now this is really nice. It was 25 cents. It goes back to the 70s. Um, there's orange flowers here. I don't know if you can see them right on the side. Uh, they make me believe that it was 70s. So my first thing, what I want to do, is get rid of those flowers. So I have a screwdriver and I have a hammer. I'm just going to target those so we can get them out of there. So real carefully, I'm just going to take the screwdriver and there. Actually, it takes out the entire thing there. Okay? Take the glass. Don't get cut. I really should be wearing gloves, but I'm not. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. All right. Okay, so now we take the door off. You see, it's still in pretty good shape. You can kind of work with it here. Uh, what we're going to do is actually just place this back in. It's not on any hinges. And in my hand, I have some uh, pretty generic cobweb that you can just buy at uh, your local, I don't know, any store really, like a Kmart or a Walmart. Alright, so uh, basically I personally like to just kind of leave the cobweb thin. Um, a lot of people, they don't leave it so thin. There are cob cobweb uh, spray gun things. Um, they're kind of like a glue gun. They're really cool. They're just extremely expensive. I like to stick with the generic stuff because at night everything looks the same. Alright, next we're going to focus on those two pictures that I got. Now those pictures were a dollar for each of them, so 50 cents a piece. You can really go crazy. Put your own pictures in there, like uh, of a sanitarium or of your haunted house when it was uh, not haunted. I mean, go crazy, do whatever you want. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of smash these up and we'll be good. Okay, so at this point, I actually really don't know if this is going to work or not. But sometimes this glass will completely smash, shatter, go all over the place, and there will be nothing left in this frame. Sometimes, though, you get a good smash, which will give you something like this. And one of my favorites is actually this one right here. 
All I did was take a picture online, put it in a normal frame, and smash the glass. So here's our glass frame. Okay, and I'm going to take a screwdriver just to get a nice aim on it. I'm going to hit with my hammer. I also don't want to die, so you can't see me now, but I do have sunglasses on to protect my eyes. Okay, that um, shattered a lot. So let's see what we can do with this. I kind of just put a couple pieces in. That's really all you need. If we actually glue these pieces in there, it'll look pretty cool. And I do have Hollywood stage glass that you could put around it to look like it was smashed right out of the frame. Another nice touch can be fire, just don't go crazy with it. In this case, I let the flame of the lighter just lick the edges just a little bit to cause a nice little effect. So my advice is go to tag sales, go to local Halloween stores, and um, when you got enough money, just buy things here and there. You know, you don't have to get everything at once. And, also, make your own stuff. You might end up with a nice little display like this.